Hey, what's going on Amazon? So Matthew here from MatthewHNight.com doing a review for the Tontec Premium Aluminum Raspberry Pi uh, case. So I'm going to try to talk as fast as I can because uh, I don't think Amazon will let me upload a long video. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the ports that it has on it. Uh, when you put this together, you're going to want to take either the screws from the front. There's four screws in the front, and there's four screws in the back. Uh, there's a top slider on the top of the case, on the top of the enclosure that allow you to access the um, top part. There's a cable that, uh, I think it's the GIOP port, I think it is. Hopefully I said that right. If I didn't, forgive me for being an idiot. Uh, so here's your front right here. It allows you access to your Ethernet, your four USB ports, your HDMI, your audio port, and your um, micro HD micro USB for powering the device. Um, then you have your back for. I think you can put a camera here if you wanted to. Had a camera that had a ribbon cable that could come out through here. Uh, you got your micro SD back here. And I'm not sure what this is for, but it's a hole. And that's pretty much it for it. The one things that I don't like about this is the only thing that I don't like about it are those two screws that are underneath it right there. Those two screws, apologize for the lighting, it's after 10 o'clock here. Those two screws, I don't like them. I cannot stand them. They, the, the color is just hideous. I wish they would have been a little, I wish they would have been black. So they would have blended in with the case and stuff. Uh, it doesn't sit. It doesn't sit flush on my desk whenever I'm sitting. It kind of like tilts, kind of leans a little bit. But it does have little rubber gas, little rubber feet that are supposed to uh, keep it off the desk. Now there is an there's a yeah. I know a lot of you guys are gonna worry about shorting out your pie from grounding issues, but there's like about that much of a gap. Um, roughly from the pie touching the bottom of this case so you shouldn't have to worry about that as long as you line your pie nicely uh, with the rails that are inside of this case it shouldn't you shouldn't have to worry about any shorting out or the pins touching the aluminum and shorting out your pie but this is just a quick review i actually like this case if i get any more raspberry pies I would highly recommend this case. It's made out of aluminum. I don't know how well I can hear that with my microphone. It's it's very you can know you can you can I'm throwing I'm throwing at it and the Raspberry Pi is nicely snug um, inside of there. It's, it's mounted by these two screws on the bottom uh, down here, so it's pretty nice. I recommend it. Uh, like I said, I wish the only thing that they change in the future is that they do something with these screws on the bottom, make them flatter or something so that, I don't know, this just put them someplace. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't have any advice on how to fix that, but that's the only thing I don't like. It's got two mounting spots so you can easily mount this with a screw, a flathead screwdriver. You can mount this on a wall, hide it someplace behind a TV. So if you want to hook this up to a TV, you could do that. Anyways, guys, be sure to check out my website at MatthewHNight.com. Uh, and if you like this video and it's helped you out, hit the like button or thanks, whatever it is on Amazon. And uh, thanks for watching.